Hi mga kanayan, this is Aurelio Isip and welcome to Isip Nayan. So our topic for today is all about the linear inequality. So let's start. Linear inequality, ano ang pagkakaiba nito sa linear equation? Pag sinabi natin linear equation, no, equal siya. I, uh, inainisip mo ang equation na to is equal to something kaya equation ngayon naman pag inequality no, ito ay may either equal or less than or greater than so kapag ang symbol na ginagamit natin kunyari sa linear equation no, linear equation ang symbol na ginagamit natin is equal sign di ba? ngayon sa linear inequality hindi lang equal sign ang ating gagamitin no? pwede rin tong less than no or greater than so less than ganyan yung symbol ng less than tsaka greater than so pwede rin naman nitong less than or equal pag ganito yung symbol or greater than or equal o di kaya pwede rin natin siyang sabihin not equal so this no from this side no ito yung ginagamit natin in linear inequality. No? So, let's have an example. Let's have an example of linear inequality in our real life. No? So, for example, uh, the value. So, ito ang binampes example to. The value of the Philippine peso is less than the value of 1 US dollar. Pag sinabi natin, alam naman natin, no? Ang 1 US dollar, no? Almost 50 pesos na yata yun, eh, no? Or lagpas pa, hindi ko alam kung ano yung Uh, currency ngayon, no? So, ngayon, yung peso. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating peso, 1 peso natin, ay less than sa ating, asa uh, US 1 dollar. So, ayan yung sa ating peso at sa dollar. So, another example, no? So, according to PSA, no? Philippine Statistics Authority, pag sabi ng PSA, no, sila yung mga nagbibilang, no, may kinalaman sa statistics, no. Sabi dito, no, there are more Filipino female than Filipino male. So, mas marami daw ang mga babae na Filipino, na Pinay, no, kaya sa mga lalaki. So, ibig sabihin, no, if we represent ng ating female is F, so, mas marami sa kanila is greater than. Pag sabi greater than, greater than na male na Pilipinos. So, yun. So, another example, no? If we have the elevator, no? In the building, sabi dito, no? Has a maximum capacity of 10 persons. So, ibig sabihin, ang elevator ay hindi, ano, hindi mag-ooperate. No? Hindi akin, hindi ba baba. Kapag overloaded siya, hindi pwedeng 11. No? Nakalagay kasi sa elevator, no? 10 lang. Maximum ang 10. So, ibig sabihin, ang maximum 10, hindi siya pwedeng kung maging 11. Pero pwede siyang 10. Aandar siya sa 10. So, ibig sabihin, ang capacity, no, pag sinabi natin capacity, let's say capacity, kailangan nito is less than, no, less than 10 or equal. Pwedeng 10 or less than 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, no, pwede nga mag-isa ka lang, no. So, yun yung capacity. Yun yung linear inequality. So, another one, no, meron dito na yung getting pass, no? Passing grade sa ating mga students, no? So, 75, sabi dito, to get passing marks in a school, a student must have a grade of at least 75. No? So, ibig sabihin, hindi na bababa sa 75. Hindi ka pwede magiging 74, 73. Kailangan 75, pataas siya. So, paano natin ilalagay yun, no? So, at least 75, ibig sabihin, no? If we have a grade, baga baga ang kulay, no? Kailangan, ang grade mo is greater than no? 75 or equal. So, yan yung ating passing grade. So, yan yung ating uh, some practicals no? or the real life situation using the linear inequality. So, let's have an example, no? Determine if the points 3, 2, 0, 0, and 30 are solutions of inequality 2x plus 3y is less than 6. So, titignan natin kung ang 3,2 ay solution ba 
nitong ating 2x plus 3y is less than 6. So, ibig sabihin, ang unang number dito is the x, at susunod naman is the y. So, ibig sabihin, now 2, x is 3, plus 3, what is y, which is 2, less than kaya yan ng 6. So, at itryin natin yung dato na to, no? So, this is 6, plus 6, less than 6, no? So, 6 plus 6 is 12, less than 6. So, what do you think, no? 12 is less than 6 ba? Mas malit ba ang 12 sa 6? Hindi. So, ibig sabihin, no? Thus, the 3 and 2 are, is not, no? Is not the solution of this 2x plus 3y less than 6. So, hindi siya solution, no? X na nga, you know? So, number, ito nga ito, next naman, no? 0, 0. So, ibig sabihin, kapag 0, 0 siya, so 2, 0, which is our x, no? And then, plus 3, 0 din. Ngayon, less than ba yan ng 6? So, 2, 0, plus 0, less than 6. So, 0 is less than 6, yes, no? Dahil ang 0 mas maliit sa 6. So, ibig sabihin, Thus, the 0, 0 is the solution no, for this inequality. So, let's have an example number 3, no? 3 and 0. So, ibig sabihin, ang 3 and 0, so this is our x and this is our y. Ang ating linear inequality is 2x plus 3y is less than 6 ba siya? So, tingnan natin. So, ang mangyayari dyan, so, 2, ang x natin is 3, plus 3, ang y natin is 0, less than kaya siya ng 6. So, this is 6, plus 0, less than 6. So, 6 plus 0 is 6, less than 6. So, this is wrong, no? So, mali, ito. So, ibig sabihin, the 3 and 0 is not the solution to our inequality. So that's all now. So sana may natutunan kayo. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Pakipindot po yung ating notification bell para naman lagi nga updated sa mga susunod ko pang videos. No? So that's all. Good luck, soldier!